Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for surgery, musculoskeletal system, part 3C. In the current session, we will be focusing on orthodesis. Coming to orthodesis, orthodesis in simple terms is nothing but fusion of bones. And orthodesis may be performed in the absence of other procedures and therefore when it is combined with another definitive procedure. For example, either osteotomy, fracture care, or vertebral corpectomy or laminectomy. Whenever orthodesis is performed in combination with these procedures, another definitive procedure, you need to append modifier 51 for multiple procedures as appropriate. However, orthodesis codes which come under the category 22585, 22614, 22632 are considered as add-on procedure codes and should not be used with modifier 51. These orthodesis codes, what are they? 22585, 22614 and 22632, they should not be appended with 51 modifier because they are add-on codes. And to report instrumentation procedures, you need to refer the code range 22840 to 22855 and 22859. They are reported in conjunction with codes for definitive procedures. When instrumentation, reinstallation, reinsertion or removal is reported in conjunction with other definitive procedures including orthodesis, decompression or exploration of fusion, append 51 modifier to the instrumentation procedure codes. Simple, in simple terms, whenever orthodesis is combined with instrumentation, spinal instrumentation or whenever spinal instrumentation is reported in conjunction with other definitive procedures like orthodesis or decompression or exploration of fusion, in all these cases you need to append 51 modifier to indicate multiple procedures. And to report exploration of fusion, you need to use 22830. And when exploration is reported in conjunction with other definitive procedures including orthodesis decompression, you need to append 51 modifier to 22830. There is only one spinal expiration code that is nothing but 22830. And do not append modifier 62 to spinal instrumentation and for bone grafts. This is a common point in the entire spine topic. Do not append modifier 62 to spinal instrumentation codes and bone graft codes. Now within the spine section, bone grafting procedures are reported separately in addition to orthodesis whenever they are performed. And to report bone grafts performed after orthodesis, you need to refer the codes 20930 uh, to 20938 this is the range and as we have discussed earlier you should not append 62 modifier to bone graft codes let us discuss an example posterior orthodesis of l4 and l5 for degenerative disc disease utilizing morselized autogenous iliac bone graft harvested through separate facial incision so this is the procedure what is the procedure? First is posterior orthodesis. The appropriate code is 22612. Orthodesis posterior or posterior lateral technique and the vertebrae are L4 and L5. So lumbar with lateral transverse technique when performed. Additionally, autogenous iliac bone graft is performed. For that you need to use this add-on code 20937 which is nothing but autograft for spine surgery, morselized. Here you can see utilizing morselized autogenous iliac bone graft. So you need to report 20937, autograft for spine surgery, morselized. And you should not append 62 modifier for this code, 20937. And within the spine section, instrumentation is reported separately and in addition to orthodesis. To report the instrumentation procedures performed with definite vertebral procedure, we need to see the instrumentation codes. Certain points are common. The two points are modifier 62 should not be appended for 
spinal instrumentation procedure, procedures and for bone graft procedures. Let us see an example for spinal instrumentation procedure. Here, posterior orthodesis of L4 to S5. Utilizing morselized autogenous iliac bone graft harvested to separate fascia incision and pedicel screw fixation is done. So, pedicel screw fixation is nothing but uh, the spinal instrumentation and the vertebrae involved are L4 to S5. So, the first code is 22612, orthodesis posterior or posterior lateral technique lumbar with lateral transverse techniques when performed. And additionally, you need to use this add-on code for each additional interspace, 22614, because lumbar to sacral interspace, L4 to S1. So, for this additional interspace, you need to use 22614 additionally. And after that, Spinal instrumentation code should be used. 22842. Posterior segmental instrumentation. Example, pedicel fixation, dual rods with multiple hooks or sublaminar wires. 3 to 6 vertebral segments. Here the vertebral segments are 3. L4, L5 and S1. And additionally, autograft to spine. Surgery morselized. Autograft code, spinal instrumentation code and orthodesis code. Here you should not append 62 modifier for spinal instrumentation and autograft codes. Vertebral procedures are sometimes performed by orthodesis in addition may include bone graft and instrumentation. One more important point is bone grafts and instrumentation are never performed without orthodesis. Bone grafts and instrumentation are never performed without orthodesis. Let us see an example. Treatment of burst fracture of L2 by corpectomy followed by orthodesis of L1 to L3. Utilizing anterior instrumentation L1 to L3 structural allograft. So first burst fracture treatment by L2 corpectomy. First you need to Use the corpectomy code 63090, vertebral corpectomy, partial or complete, transperitoneal or retroperitoneal approach with decompression of spinal cord, quadra equina or nerve roots, lower thoracic, lumbar or sacral, single segment, followed by orthodesis code. The orthodesis code using anterior instrumentation. The code is 22558 along with 51 modifier. Orthodesis interbody technique including minimal discectomy to prepare interspace other than decompression lumbar. Then the next code is plus 22585 for each additional interspace. Here L1 to L3. Interspace. First, let us see what is interspace. Interspace is nothing but a vertebral interspace is the non-bony compartment between two adjacent vertebral bodies. Between two adjacent vertebral bodies, the non-bony compartment is called as interspace. So, from L1 to L3, you have given one code. For orthodesis 22558 and there is additional one more interspace that is from L2 to L3 there is one more additional interspace for that you need to code one unit of 22588 for each additional interspace next code is 22845 anterior instrumentation because orthodesis is performed utilizing anterior instrumentation. Two, two, two or three vertebral segments. Here in total, three vertebral segments are there. So, 22845 for anterior instrumentation followed by allograft. Structural allograft, allograft code plus 20931. 
allograft structural for spine surgery only. So, these are the appropriate CPTs for that particular exam. So, from starting onwards, we are discussing two ground rules. Modifier 62 should not be appended for spinal instrumentation and bone graft codes. Now, let us discuss an example where 62 modifier can be appended for spinal procedures. When two surgeons work together as primary surgeons performing distinct part of a single reportable procedure, each surgeon should his or her distinct operative work by appending modifier 62 to the single definitive procedure code. And if additional procedures or add-on codes are performed, then those codes can also report 62 modifier. Let us discuss an example. A 42-year-old male with a history of post-traumatic degenerative disc disease at L3 to L4, internal disc disruption underwent surgical repair. Surgeon A performed an anterior exposure of the spine and mobilization of great vessels. Surgeon B performed anterior discectomy and fusion. At L3 to L4 and L4 to L5 using anterior interbody technique using allograft. So, surgeon A must report double two double five eight, which is nothing but orthodesis anterior interbody technique including minimal discectomy to prepare interspace lumbar region. For this, he can append 62 modifier. Additionally, for additional interspace, interspace between L4 to L5, you need to use this add-on code plus 22585, each additional interspace along with 22558. For this add-on code also, he can append 62 modified. Now, coming to the reportable codes for surgeon B. Surgeon B can also append 22558 orthodesis code with 62 modifier and orthodesis add-on code with 62 modifier. Additionally, using allograft, allograft is used, which is given by 20931. Here, 62 modifier is not appended. Now, let us discuss the various techniques or approaches of orthodesis. It can be obtained by lateral extra cavity approach technique or anterior or anterior lateral approach technique or posterior or posterior lateral or lateral transverse process technique. These are the three techniques by which orthodesis can be obtained. Now let us discuss the codes of lateral extra cavity approach technique. The first CPT is 22532. Orthodesis lateral extra cavity technique including minimal discectomy to prepare interspace other than for decompression thoracic. Then, orthodesis lateral extra cavity technique, including minimal discectomy to prepare interspace. Lumbar region is given by the code 22533. And for each additional vertebral segment, whether it is thoracic or lumbar, you need to use this add on code plus 22534. Now coming to anterior or anterior later approach technique. The procedure codes 22554 to 22558 are for single interspace. For additional interspaces, use an add-on code. So what is vertebral interspace? A vertebral interspace is the non-bony compartment between two adjacent vertebral bodies which contains the intervertebral discs including the nucleus pulposus, annulus fibrosus and two cartilaginous end plates. For the following quotes, when two surgeons work together as primary surgeons performing distinct parts of an anterior interbody orthodesis, each surgeon should report his or her distinct operative work by appending 62 modifier to the procedure code. In this situation, modifier 62 may be appended to procedure codes and as appropriate to the associated additional interspace add-on code, 22585, as long as both surgeons continue to work together as primary surgeons. This example we have discussed previously. 
62 modifier can be appended for procedure code as well as the add-on interspace add-on code. Now let us discuss the CPTs of anterior or anterior lateral approach technique. First one is double two five four eight. Orthodesic anterior transolar transoral or extra oral technique. Silvis C1 to C2 atlas axis with or without excision of odontoid process. The next is double two double five one. Orthodesis anterior interbody including disc space preparation, discectomy, osteophytectomy, and decompression of spinal cord and nerve roots cervical below C2. Next is an add-on code. Plus double two double five two cervical below C2 for each additional interspace you need to use one unit of this add-on code. The next is double two double five four orthodesis interbody technique including minimal discectomy to prepare interspace other than decompression cervical below C2 for cervical you need to report double two double five four and for lumbar. Sorry, thoracic and for thoracic. Orthodesis anterior interbody technique including minimal discectomy to prepare interspace. For thoracic, you need to report it with double two double five six. And for lumbar, you need to report it with double two double five eight. And for each additional interspace, you need to use this add-on code double two five eight five. The next code is double two five eight six. Orthodesis presacral interbody technique. Including disc space preparation, discectomy with posterior instrumentation with image guidance includes bone graft when performed. L5, L5 to S1 interspace. For L5 to S1 interspace, you need to code 22586. Now, coming to next technique posterior or posterior lateral or lateral transverse process technique. To report instrumentation, here also same procedure. Instrumentation codes or procedures can be reported by double two eight four zero to double two eight double five range and double two eight five nine code. Do not append it. Do not append sixty two modifier for spinal instrumentation and for bone graft codes. Coming to the codes of posterior. Or posterior lateral or lateral transverse process technique. The first CPT is double two five nine zero. Orthodesis posterior technique cranio cervical occipitus to C two. The next is double two five nine five. Orthodesis posterior technique atlas axis C one and C two. The next is a revised code which is indicated by this triangle double two six double zero. Orthodesis posterior or posterior lateral technique single interspace cervical below C2 segment. The next is double two six one zero. This is also revised code. Orthodesis posterior or posterior lateral technique single interspace thoracic with lateral transverse techniques when performed. The next is double two six one two. Orthodesis posterior or posterior lateral technique single interspace lumbar with transverse lateral transverse techniques when performed. The next is an add-on code plus double two six one four for each additional interspace. The next code is double two six three zero. Orthodesis posterior interbody technique including laminectomy and or discectomy to prepare interspace single interspace lumbar. And for each additional interspace, you need to use this add-on code plus two two six three two. The next code is also a revised code, which is given by triangle double two six double three. Orthodesis combined posterior or posterior lateral technique with the posterior interbody technique, including laminectomy or discectomy, sufficient to prepare interspace single interspace lumbar. And for each additional interspace and segment, you need to reuse this add-on code plus double two six three four. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.